Hello everybody, welcome to the play-in final phase. We've got Hiru from the winner's bracket with Dwarves up against Nico Das, who has battled through the loser's bracket with Underworld. Um, in the booth with me is Hargrim. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all you get from me. Fantastic. So this is a bit of a one turny build. No, it's not. It's strip. This is the random... This is the random skills. Uh, Nico does apparently just rolled a dice for picking his skills, and he's got he's got two heads on the thrower, claw on the blitzer, strip ball on the gutter runner. Like that's very unusual, isn't it? You know, like I'm not dissing him, but it's very it's very unusual. I mean, it sounds like I'm dissing him, saying he's rolled for his <laughs> skills at random, but honestly, like that's really unusual, isn't it? That's super unusual, like. Two heads is, is unusual. Claw over Mighty Blow. Strip ball over, like, sidestep or block or anything. Like, it's really weird. And then Juggernaut is is the normal... Is a normal... For... Rogers. But instead he's... Yeah. You spent the double on a... Spent the double on a block. Which is interesting, isn't it? So it's, you know, like... It's a bit atypical, isn't it? The, the block isn't so crazy, but... I'm not a fan of... Claw over Mighty Blow. Or two heads over anything <laughs> and strip ball either but honestly the claw works good for this game doesn't it because you know dwarves are like the one bad matchup so i guess taking claw to help versus this matchup is all right sort of makes sense if you're going to deal with a, if you think you're going to deal with a lot of orcs and a lot of dwarves because mm -hmm. then you have the mighty blow for the weaker matchups or for the matchups where you need the mighty blow a little more and then you have the claw for these matchups to use as a tin opener yeah yeah, if, if like if you think you don't need the claw, like if you don't need guard or mighty blow or tackle on him, then claw's pretty good because then you've got a blank guy in some games. But when you've got him, it's pretty nice, isn't it? So it just depends on that kind of assessment, I guess. Um, we've got a blocked up runner here because there's only one runner for Hero, which is very very dodgy, isn't it? Um, very dodgy. So obviously you've got to block him if you've only got one runner. Um, two slayers, which is kind of okay, and mighty blowing one, which is kind of okay, and four guards is rather than like I had five guards, but four guards is is fine, isn't it? But bizarrely, he hasn't gone guard on a runner, which is very very strange, isn't it? Pretty much everybody guards both runners, so you've got a bit yeah. of maneuverability. You should always guard up the blitzers before you guard up the uh, the blockers. Yeah, that's that's generally what people do, like, you know, for the mobility. But I mean. I guess like your your blockers are more more likely to be in the fight already, right? So, no, it's pretty weird. I guess it's I guess maybe what he's thinking is um, it gets two from swarming here the uh, snotlings. And uh, yeah, did he just forget this guy? <laughs> Random snotling on the wing. Yeah, I don't know why he's why he's done that. I guess he must have forgotten about it. Yeah. Oh wow, and he's caught it on a guard lineman. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I thought m maybe he didn't take guard on this one because he wants this to be like a reserve carrier. But even then, like you know, guard on him is fine, isn't it? The m the majority of the roster is just dodgy to me. Like both slayers is dodgy. One runner is dodgy. Not guarding up the bl both blitzes is a bit dodgy. Yeah, yeah I, I would have much it's preferred this to have two runners rather than. Two slayers. Yeah. yeah, you drop the second slayer for the second runner. That means you save a skill on this on the runner. You can take another guard, and then you can still run mighty blow on the slayer if you want to. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Oh, sorry. Hello, Dementor. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you shared your screen in the Discord, or can I just not see it? I haven't seen it. No, uh -huh. Hargrim has just been uh, on a delay oh. here. Uh, all right. Let me uh, let me share it. Thanks, Raj. There we go. Both slayers is good because it counters the claw blitzer. Yeah, like I went with no slayers, but you know I'm not saying that that's correct, right? Like one one slayer can be totally fine, but I think two slayers is pretty rowdy, especially if you don't go two th two runners. But then if you go yeah. two runners, like if you go two runners and two slayers, then it's like four av eight, which seems pretty crazy, doesn't it? Like you can have, you can have both runners and both slayers. 
and I considered no. it. Are we taking to se a second to just rethink about Nicodaz's uh, skill selections, or uh, has that not happened yet? <laughs> Already gone through that. Um, good, good. And it's not it's not the worst. So he went behind here, I guess, to stop like a bubble a bubble box out. But I would have rather had the guard behind these guys in case they got you know blitz and stuff. But uh, I guess it, you know, bubble boxing out would be terrible, right? But he could have also just gone one square back, and uh, I'd still rather like have the guard in front of the ball. Personally, he also has four rerolls. Did he get a fourth off of kickoff? Or he must have done. Yeah, yeah. This is was, this was only a three reroll build the way he's gone because I had four rerolls because I I didn't have any slayers. So he must have got cheering fans. Yeah, blink coaching. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, so the claw blitz are getting a bit more mileage than it should ever <laughs> in this matchup specifically. Um, and two heads thrower is weird. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't in understand that at all. Like, at least you can be like... Well, I don't like strip ball. Like, I hate strip ball as one skill. Like, that seems crazy to me. But yeah. at least you can think, well, he's going to run around and hit things and strip ball them. But, like, I just don't understand what the two-heads guy does. Like, that just seems really, really dodgy to me. Yeah. The 16-year-old does not look 35, by the way, in the darts. I, I looked at him. He looks about 19 or 20. He does not look 35. <laughs> Claw did nothing. Just quietly. <laughs> and also, like, only removed one player, didn't he, uh... Hiru. He obviously wants yeah. to remove more than that and he wants to set up hits on these. Well, anything he can, really. <laughs> these players. You really want to base like all the snotlings, right? So they just have to 2 plus away because they can't really hit you. And Yeah, 2 plus away from tackle every turn will get some of them down because you don't want to re-roll it either. Yeah. Although... It's very weird, Nicodizer's build, especially because he's got the four rerolls, but he doesn't have a Juggernaut Ratog or a two head cutter. So it doesn't look like he's playing for the one turn. Yeah. It's look, it, it does look like from the roster creation that he's building for the breaks instead of the one turning, yes. Yeah. yeah. Which is like, you, 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 rather than putting everything on, like, what is it, 70% play? Maybe higher? I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know, Jeff. I don't know, Jeff. It's probably hard to work out, right, with the scatters. It's probably really hard to work out. You've probably got to, like, assume that it's, like, a quick pass or something from the uh, thrower. Yeah, well, it also depends on what, Like, so in NAF, it's, uh, I think, an extra arms thrower is better. Yes, yeah, of course it is, because a 3 plus to pick up is horrendous. <laughs> yeah. So you can do... Well, you could also do an on-the-ball thrower, but that's not that good. No. But it's nice in res when you have... Not in res, progression, where you have both. Mm. And, uh, and then you completely max the uh, odds. Yeah. I think it can get up to something ridiculous. Like, if you have, like, a sprint gutter and make it all two pluses all the way down, it'll probably be something like 75%, I think? That's just a guess thing. Pretty high. But you can still just win normally, right? Like, that's the thing, you don't really need any... Like, you know, Art was, like, slating, going for the one turn. And it's like, but you can still just win normally. You can build completely for the one turn and still just win, win normally, can't you? Because it's unknown. Yeah, you can just roll some fouls and stuff, cast some guys. Your rogue can just randomly make cas and stuff. Like you're you're not all in on the, you're not all in on the. One turn is your only way to win. It's just that it's, you just put your skills to maximize it. That's the other thing that makes Underworld so strong in team formats is that, they are, you, a draw is fine. So even if like 
the worst case scenario and they do get a draw. It's <laughs> always the worst case scenario, but like, because it's unlikely be that Underworld ever lose. Yeah. Uh, like a draw is fine, right? But if they win, whatever ridiculous it is, like Elliot has something like an 87% win rate with Underworld on yeah. Fumble. That's almost as good as Dimmy G's win rate with Imperial and Ability. What a glorious raid from Dim Wrath, hello. Not as good after. Um, oh, don't mention the Steel Gauntlet match. No, 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 no. We don't. We don't mention that match here. Let me check. What is what is Dimmy's win rate, win rate with uh, knobs? He's a knob expert, is Dimmy? Yeah. Knob master. Mm. Pro at handling them. Oh, he's the top nobility player on Fumble. There you go. I didn't even know that. Dimmy the champ. He's 26-8, 71% win rate. Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Although the person in second has an 82% win rate, so... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who is uh, second? Uh, Fixie. Ah. <laughs> wow. To be fair, Dimmy's the only <laughs> knob player on football. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a few knobs on, on football, not just Dimmy. Yeah, it's like... How many people have played them at least once? Oh, you mean knob coaches, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, 8, 861 people on Fumble have played knobs at least once. Wow. The worst knob player on Fumble is 0, 1, and 11. So. Wow. Fact comes. I'm the best knob coach on Fumble because I'm 0, 0, 0. Mm. That makes me the best. I've made the best it's... decisions when it comes to playing Imperial Nobility. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I overtook you in a best tournament dwarf. No, uh, Jimmy. Yeah. Dice. Well, also you de you you've decayed because ah uh, yes. Because you just don't haven't played tournaments. That's that's the best thing about the tournament rankings is that usually the last person to win anything with that race is the top. Yeah. Um, bam bam bam. Don't play, can't lose, yeah. I mean, look, I always said that my Underworld record and my Kislev record, particularly my Kislev was the best record on Blood Bowl 2 because I never played them. Because Why on earth would you play Kislev? There wasn't really much reason to play Underworld, but now there is. Now it really bit me in the ass not playing Underworld because, you know, I should have used them for this. Maybe. Oh, here we go. We've got the Roger, the most reliable big guy in the game. Everybody's favourite big guy. In Blood Bowl 3... I'm, I think I think I'd make a case for the Vargeist over him, because right, wow. he always always moves and doesn't need to punch something in order to move. Yeah, I mean, I was just joking because I fucking hate the Roger. <laughs> 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 I fucking hate it so much. I think it's the worst still. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. I mean, it was pretty bad beforehand, but. Yep. Not sure. I don't know. I think it's still probably good to take it on Skaven, but maybe I'm wrong. It helps you with I'm the, wrong the Rat Ogre is the Rat Ogre is fine on Skaven, I just think the troll is better on him. Helps you with a one turn, doesn't it? So I think probably progression trolls better, but for like NAF events, getting that extra few percent for the one turn. Because obviously like, you know, in progression, you can eventually have like a juggernaut blitzer and stuff, can't you? And you can have like sidestep, sprint, sure feet, two heads, everything. You get everything on the gutter in progression. Oh my god, he's rolled another one, diced. Um, maybe was there any safe moves? That's that snotling could have moved. Uh, he was free to move. Maybe he was going to dodge back. Yeah, I, I think he was. I think the plan there was to. I don't know. Had he, bl he had blitzed. Okay, I'm not really sure what that was then. Because now just the thrower is getting hit with Mighty Blow. Well, that's what I do. That's not just jamming a guard and... Um... You wouldn't go for the claw. Mm. Um, uh, well, how much... Well, you've benched an Apo, right? So, I'm not that scared of it. Either one. He could have hit both, right? What he could have done is... If he had, if he had powered this guy... He could have put in two oh, players yeah. and run around and chained the claw into a hit as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's nice. But yeah, that might have left the ball a bit exposed. 
<laughs> I mean, it's defenseless. Just, just a isn't little it? bit. Yeah. The thing is, the throw is defenseless in armor seven, isn't it? So that's like, that's your high odds hit. And then the problem there the is you don't the get the mic, but oh. here we go. Yeah. You don't get the um, armor armor seven hit, armor seven with mic blow hit. Yeah. You get an armor seven and an armor eight hit, which is probably better. But yeah, and like this is good. I I think going for the the less armor guy and just you know picking him off is pretty good, isn't it? Plus, yes, it's the thrower good. which helps with the one turn majorly. So yeah, yeah. this I'm is surprised. fine. Was that a was that badly hurt? No, it wasn't. No, minus movement and uh, no. I apple. think there's a there's a reasonable case to apple that. There is, isn't there? Yeah, only thirty-seven and a half percent, but uh, but yeah, it does help you one turn. He's sort of relying on like a snotling ball catch or a touchback if if that mm. fails. Because obviously you can swarm underneath the ball and just get it for free. Yeah, pretty disgustorous. This isn't looking great for the underworld right now, is it? No. Um, Business think... called suboptimal. <laughs> it's still got eleven players, but just everything's kind of surrounded and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. Yeah. Well, the thing is, with underworld, is like once you get a couple of removals, it's it's eleven slightly bad players rather than. 14 slightly bad players, which is better than 11 quite good players. Yeah. Amazing, amazing analysis. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Hello, Hubbin Bubbin. Um, not a lot. The, the, the thrower just got cast for uh, Nick or Daz. Didn't apple it. And uh, that's all that's really happened, I guess. Yeah, just just punching things, just both sides punching things. As you do. Oh wow, the snotling can two D now. You can two D with the snotling. That's pretty cool, isn't it? <coughs> oh, waxing block. I love two Ding people with snotlings. <laughs> hey, Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> A million two pluses? Well, two. <laughs> feels like a million though, doesn't it? Two equals a million now, apparently. Yeah, it feels like it, doesn't it? You're like, oh my god, this is so unfair, what are they even doing here? Like, he could have just put in the assist with the gutter, couldn't he? But he had to do one of those dodges through tackle. Soon you won't have to put active. Wowie, look at that. <laughs> well, I'm taking some to the waterfall, so we'll see how that goes. I think you blitz the uh, claw here with Mighty Blow, don't you? And if you have to GFI, you GFI. Just move the whole cage up first. Yep. And then, um. And if you it's either that or you blitz centrally, which is kind of naff. Yeah, it's pathetic, isn't it? Yeah. It really sucks that your Mighty Blow isn't on tackle, right? If you have Mighty Blow tackler, then you're just smashing a snotling with great. But with having the Frenzy, I think it's way better to just, you know, you might you risk risk the double hit here. Well, you yeah. have four rerolls, so... Yeah, but you know, yeah. you can still double one, can't you? <laughs> you can still double one. Obviously, safe move first. Yeah, very, very advanced. Very advanced. Very advanced cage here, guys. One, two, three. Can you see the cage here, guys? Well, yeah. so there's an option to make. Oh, no, there's a snotling there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there's a snotling perfectly hidden by the block icon. <laughs> hey. So if it's like just a, just a regular cage. And then, yeah, he's going to do the GFI. Well, might have to do the GFI. Yes, yeah, so he's got a slightly open fails. cage, right? Slightly open cage, but that's that's what he had to do, really, because if he cages one further up, 
He's not do is... not he can't hit from that angle, can he? Mm -hmm. So he either didn't cage first, oh my god. Or he cages a slightly weak cage there. That's the Apo. Yeah, yeah badly hurt, will. yeah. Yeah, badly yeah. hurt. Real good value from the claw there. <laughs> Insane value. <laughs> Nico well, does. I mean, it's, it's better than tackle, which is the the regular pick, right? In this matchup specifically. Or guard, like yeah. tackle, yeah, go mighty blow guard. The, the big Kev seen... told me to go mighty blow guard. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of people run guard blitzes on Underworld. And I have a really hard time seeing how it's ever going to be useful, because you're not really playing to take a lot of blocks. Helps with a one turn, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, but if you're going to one turn, then why not just take the Roger? Well, no, the Roger's got Juggernaut, and then the Blitzer's got Guard to help with the uh, one turn. But it could be Mighty Blow. But you're not going to block anyway. I, yeah, I don't like my blow either. Yeah, I don't like my blow because you, you got the rattle, right? Yeah, your rogue is your mighty blow guy. So tackle to like hit kill other underworlds, little men. Yeah, all right, tackle specifically for the underworld too. Yeah, or zones as well, or on tabletop. Yes, yeah. Obviously, tackle goes up in value if if the zone menace is active. Zones are ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, they really are. Oh, wow, he's getting the getting the roger in. That's interesting, isn't it? Super interesting. Mm, well, especially when it looks like it's just gonna get two deed with mighty blow. But... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Because <laughs> you can, yeah, you can free up. Yeah, <laughs> I don't entirely know what's why that have... has happened, but you know, it's not what I would have done. But who's to say if it's right or wrong? Exactly. I mean, if he does this one day, and okay, okay, well, he could he could just tag the Slayer, right? He could tag the Slayer with a Snotling. Yeah, he could do. He could have double yeah. ta he could have double GFI tagged him and then he would have punched and gone to there and then punched and gone to there and then he could have served the, <laughs> served the Slayer <laughs> if he didn't get powered <laughs> off six dice. Oh, he's dodging. Uh, uh, yeah, this doesn't do anything, does it? Because he just has enough guard <laughs> to put it in. No, it's not doing That's what she said. Wait. <laughs> It's not doing yeah. a lot, and then he rolls another one, saving all his rerolls for the one turn, I think, by the looks of this. Well, but if you're saving for the one turn, then you don't make that dodge if you're not going to reroll it. Right? Because that could happen. Well, yeah, but five times out of six, you succeed. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just a snotling, isn't it? It's, it's, a, it's a tough one. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's definitely wrong to not dodge. Like, it's, I wouldn't say it's definitely wrong to dodge and not reroll. Because. Five times out of six, it's it's fine. This is a bit of a frenzy trap, so it'll be interesting to see if he just goes in without the slayer. Yeah, he could GFI. Oh, is, it, is there another slotling behind? GFI. Is there a slotling behind the roger? Yes, there is. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we have to use guards there. Yeah. But he could. He, this guy could GFI in right, and then just two D the roger. Yeah, I like. I like that. You know, GFIs are just free movement. They are. Everyone yeah. knows that. They are a little bit, aren't they? With uh, with multiple rerolls, they're a lot yeah. more like free movement than they ever were. I mean, they're still not free movement, obviously. But gets the big yeah, power. The interesting thing you were talking about in the Irish Discord about how, like, if sure feet makes you six times more likely to go for it, then you're not getting any value out of it. Yeah. Because you're just a like to veil. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It's interesting because, and, and then also, like, you know, sure feet versus sprint. It was, this was about sure feet versus sprint on, like, a, a blitzer, like a. A ghoul, I think it was. A ghoul, yeah, a ghoul. It might have been a move-up ghoul. 
or it might not be move up, but it, yeah, it was something like a cool, something about move seven, maybe move eight. Um, yeah. And so it's a bit different to like the what's it called, bull centaur, right? Because bull centaur movement six is really slow. So, and they're also really strong. So like it's 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 just a totally different thing, like uh, having a fast player. You know, I don't really care about the the fast player consistently being able to make two extra squares. I I care more about it occasionally being able to go three more for a one turn. <laughs> I think that's just going to make more impact in harder games. Whereas the the sure feat is just going to make you move eight squares instead of seven sometimes, or nine squares instead of eight sometimes. And I just don't think it's going to be that big a deal. And make you fail more GFIs because you're trying more. <laughs> yeah, so if he's going for the one turn hit, well, it's, it's quite hard to stop this gore, isn't it? So Yeah. Like so quite hard, do you mean impossible? Uh, <laughs> it's always a snotling dodge triple bow into Kaz. Yeah, nothing's impossible in Blood Bowl. Only one in 216. Yep. Yeah. And he's only lost two players. Like so he hasn't actually lost that many players, right? In terms of permanently, yeah. Yeah. So he can just try and rescue what he's got left. And uh, maybe he's run the gutter away. <laughs> and... yeah. Operation, get the fuck out of there! Oh, I don't like this. I do not like this. Yeah. I think what you can do here is. Is you can oh re rolls it what? Yeah. Do you actually think he can stop the score? I do I not like does. that. <laughs> yeah, he must do. Well, I was going to say before he made that dodge, you could actually sort of make a screen around the gutter on us. You're guaranteed a three D with multi blow on it next turn. <laughs> yeah. Just, it's the downside. What's that stopping for me? That's an orchard. Oh okay. god. That snotling is Kaz getting cast by the roger. Best big guy in the game, everybody. This is what people tell me. To to stand up and get my blow. <laughs> not sure about that one, Jeff. The problem is you can't really might if you mighty blow him, you're not mighty blowing. Uh, well, you're not hitting a snotling and then putting pressure on the gutter, right? So it's interesting. Yeah, well, is it, do you value taking down the Rogue more, or do you value taking the Gutter on a down one? I mean, pressuring the Gutter, right? You're not going to get it. The Gutter will just dodge away, but you'll you'll like you'll make him use a reroll, maybe. So I think, I think hitting, hitting a Snotling, and then uh, I would have mighty blow the Snotling though. I'd have just three D him with tackle, but then I would have had a mighty blow tackle <laughs> to do it with anyway. But, uh, Mike does get the power. Is the answer for, for Underworld. Yeah, he does get the power though. I think you just take the ball down here. Oh no, because you've got to remove, haven't you? But then you're standing in the wrong square, but then you've got another square of movement. So yeah, so you probably do take the power it's, here. It's, if you power, uh, power and Geofire rather than both down, right? Yeah, I think you have to power. I think you have to power. Uh, he doesn't, so now he doesn't get pressure on the gutter. Yeah, just has to sort of solidify. Yeah, you can 2D the Roger again though. Yeah. And you can still stick a guy on that snot thing. Yeah, I think I think you should have just avoided more losses, yeah. Not activated the Roger, not cas your own players. Yeah, so standing up the roger there, Kaz is his own player and also <laughs> it's, uh, and also gets the roger hit. Yeah. With, without mighty blow, but with block. So. Yeah. Uh, don't entirely know why. Hmm, that's strange. The slayer and the blocker are that way around. Although it doesn't make a difference because the snotling. Yeah. The snotling's going to. Uphill on, on 3D anyway, right? Yeah. So, it doesn't really make a difference. And he doesn't put. 
He's not hitting the roger. Come on, man. Or maybe he's one ding it. You've got a two D. I think. I don't think you have to. Oh, I think you get your dwarf card revoked if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that the, the underworld can't really defend against it. Whoa! Whoa! Glorious four plus dodge in. Let's go. It was just a three plus. Oh, just a three plus. Yeah, it's just a three, three plus. plus. I was thinking he was dodging from there to there, and obviously I remembered Titchy, but no, it was just literally just a three plus. Oh, well, easy there. Easy. Wasn't that crazy at all, was it? And now, Nico Daz should be regretting putting his gut runner in the way of the ball. <laughs> Yeah, now you have to three three two to get away. Yeah. After taking the rat ogre hit first, of course. Yep. Man, I really hated putting the gutter down there. I really hated that so much. Are you going in with the I think we're going for the dive. Yeah, well, there's no guard on that corner, so. It's a long it's way to go, though, isn't it? Oh, the the wrestle. The wrestle, yeah. Yeah, you use the wrestle because the strip ball is not going to do anything, anyways. Strip ball is your recovery. Are you re-rolling this? No. Uh, no. Are you getting your gutter runner cast? Uh, it, it certainly looks like it now. <laughs> yeah, because you, you surf it on 3D with the mighty blow, don't you? So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you do. No, you don't, do you take that hit first? Because now he can change. He can. Oh no, it doesn't make a difference. So you can just step the slayer out of the way. Yeah, you can go. You've, there's lots of squares you can go to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think me. I would re-roll. I would re-roll the one D, but not the six plus dodge. I think. I think I would have had four re-rolls and not had my gutter in the way. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> just withdraw and don't take any damage and. Uh... Yep. Cheeky cars gets the push. Uh, you take yeah, the push. You take the push. Right? Because yes. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. trying to think. Because yeah. Yeah. Definitely. If you are piling on, <laughs> you would take the power. <laughs> but um. If you have, I wonder if it, is it better if you have my blood plus two. But, probably not. But probably not. KO. Got or So tactical no score. Oh no! <laughs> that doesn't yeah. make any sense. <laughs> oh no! The tactical no score. <laughs> well, actually, one of my um, one of my last my last game at the World Cup, it wasn't quite a tactical no score. It was a lot of dice to score. So I thought, rather than going for the score, I'm just going to take a tackle mighty blow here on the gutter that he's exposed to stop my score. Yeah, and then I killed it, nice. and Apple failed, and then I won one nil because I just pushed him over and took the ball off. Nice, Gutter comes back. Oh, dice! One turn one, is on. Three, four, five, six. Only ten players though. Which isn't perfect, is it? Yes. This is over. I wouldn't, it's not over, Hubbin Bubbin. It's not over. Don't say it's over. But it's, it's not looking, Jova just yet. But it's looking pretty good, isn't it? It's looking pretty good. They might start the second half with 12 players for the Burrito, but only Maybe 10 for the one that, turn. Well, Gutter could also cas himself. <laughs> mm. Going for it. Yeah, goes for the standard setup. Oh no, this isn't quite standard, because you don't want to do this. You want to go two squares back against Frenzy, right? Mmm. Because otherwise... Oh no, because no sidestep, right? There's that no sidestep, yeah, there's yeah, no, no sidestep, that makes it a lot harder. Alright, this is fine, yeah. Is that right? I think so. I don't that know, Jeff. Me. I don't know, Jeff. Well... Don't know, don't care. Never play a team that can one turn. <laughs> That's the there's the answer. Just play dwarves. Well, dwarves could one turn. <laughs> Move from A to runner. 
Yeah, but like he's taken. That's why he's taken double slayers, so that he can obviously one turn. <laughs> I guess three sidestep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what could go wrong? Yeah. I see no fault in this plan. Yeah, you could friends in do no dodges. Yeah, yeah. That's so that it's like you know he hasn't got sidestep though, right? Sidestep make it so much better to get a free push out of it. Yeah. But you could like he could three D into three D, and then he's got it here, and then he pushes it too. But it's like. Four. I think without two heads it might be better. It's hard to say though. And where Juggernaut swings it the other way, maybe. There's no Juggernaut though as well, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Looks like he is going for the... well, I don't know what he's doing. I think the Rat Oak is about to move. Yeah. Hopefully. If not, I'll be very confused. <laughs> Having to do zero dodges is pretty good, yes. Instead of dodging, like, and also receiving the ball and not in a tackle zone, right? And him having tackle as well. So, like, it, yeah, it's obviously really, really, really good. Not dodging at all. But sidestep would have made this so much easier, wouldn't it? You could have just run there, pushed then there, and got the sidestep. And then, like, it's just so much easier. I don't know how you can't take sidestep. Honestly. Well, he took the obviously superior skill of strip ball. Um, <laughs> Not what I'd have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? Yeah. Cow's thrower also makes this difficult, so. And yeah. no swarming, obviously. But... Yeah. What, what? What? Why is the roger there? I don't know. Uh, so it can't be based on a solid fence, I guess. Doesn't One, need two, to. Three, need to be. Four, five. Six, seven. It's geifying now. He's gonna move those snotlings, isn't he? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Move the snotlings. Oh, to be the assists, maybe. Yeah. But doesn't one of them have to block? Uh. No. 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 The, the, the claw blocks. Yeah. 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 The wrestle blocks and the claw blocks. Sorry, I was being stupid. <laughs> Sorry, I was being dumb. <laughs> Have okay, to I think me. I see. I think I see how this works. I just don't like it. Yeah, yeah. He, he just moves these two out of the way, doesn't he? he? Just these these two come in here. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So he's got three into three, into three into three, probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But he doesn't need to get like three pushes and then a pow. Well, he doesn't need the pow at the end. But three pushes he needs. Whereas if he had sidestep, he'd only need two. He'd need a push and a power even. No, no, he'd need two pushes and a power. So he's ha he has had to make himself make an extra push with a with a loner, and obviously he hasn't got juggernaut. So yeah, with sidestep you can make it two pushes, can you? Because you fill in the three squares. And there we go. Look, juggernaut would have got the push. Yep. Juggernaut would have got the push, again. Yeah, so with slide step, you only need two pushes because you can fill in the two squares. Oh, yeah, fill in all the squares. Yeah, yeah, you could fill in all the squares. Yeah, and a pound of push. Not sure yeah. it works with 10? Yeah, maybe not with 10. Yeah, maybe not with 10, and maybe not versus dwarves, right? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. No, no, it works with 10, I think. Imagine not having. Imagine not having Juggernaut, yeah. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, and you can even make it a 3D. Against the strike four play. <laughs> Troll would have won turn. Troll would have just lobbed a snotling and scored. <laughs> yep. Easy. <laughs> yeah, Elliot sidestep just to push the Yor. Uh, yeah, Juggernaut sidestep. These are better skills. I will be right back. Four. That's great scene animations again. Glorious. Okay, so 1 0 to half. Uh, one Kyo come back. Uh, so, four stones out. Yep, so, because it's three dice, Astaflix. Three dice. That was why. Um, it's got 11, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, got 11. There was a guard on the LOS, so you'd have only got two dice. Probably in two dice into two if you'd done it with a block. And you don't need the blitz, right? Because by going two 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 two, then uh, by doing it that way, then you, you you don't need any dodges anyway. So there's no need for a blitz. So you're not like saving anything by not doing a blitz. But if you'd had juggernaut, you would have uh, the blitz would have made it brilliant. But it didn't. 
he didn't and use Juggernaut. Well, he didn't take Juggernaut. Which, you know, look like the block makes him better defensively, of course. Art's taken claw on his to be the greediest banger that ever banged. <laughs> That's rowdy. <laughs> yep. Yep. Because he thinks yeah. that the uh, the one turn chance isn't very good. He doesn't want to build into something that isn't very good chance. So instead he's just taking Claw home to randomly dice people. <laughs> <laughs> Which seems... Well, the idea is that it helps versus like, the harder matchups, right, of, of dwarves. But I think it was a bad decision from him. Yeah, I feel like Juggernaut's way better. Yeah, I knew he was going to do it as well from watching him playing on the ladder and I was like, this is not good practice for NAF style because this is ladder where the claw is way better than it is in NAF style. So it didn't totally shock me that he took the claw, but I think it was incorrect. But we'll see. Yeah. He might win the whole thing. The whole thing. Well, he's also not a, not a NAF player, right? So. Yep. I mean, neither am I. He could he could claw Hiru's dwarves and he could claw Andy's orcs and he could claw you know Diomed's orcs and he could claw somebody else's lizard men and then he could just you know he could win every game because of the claw. It's possible, yeah. isn't it? Jimmy, you've got a whole fifty-eight NAF games. He must be a he must be an NAF player. Fifty-eight. Well, most yeah, of those must be on fumble. Yeah, most of them are. But mm. <laughs> uh, how many are not on fumble? Not many. I've been to about four tournaments. Uh, yeah, it was four. <laughs> and I was, I was sober for about four games. <laughs> the UK TC ones I was sober for. I think that must be like five or six. Yeah, six. Because I didn't want to, I didn't want to let my teammates down on that, and I didn't do very well either. But you know, beat Dave all, so there was that. Way, well, hey. lost to Purple Goo. Standard. Well, you played El Yuki and Loop Zero. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got diced by El Yuki. I did a glorious, I did a glorious chain push to get my prone mummy in base to base with his skink, and then I double won the GFI to three dice. It. <laughs> like for fuck's sake! <laughs> Amazing chain push. That was the reward. Just fucked. <laughs> Watch this into immediate one of the six. Yeah. No. Claw. Claw getting a getting a nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Mighty blow would have been a, a KO. <laughs> <laughs> what a good skill. Mm. Well, on the other side, flip skull, thick skull, best best skill in the game. So flip yeah. skull, just rip. <laughs> flip skull is perfect. Yeah. Yeah, six games, six games, during, all during one tournament and in total. Every every other every other game, I just every other tournament, I just got drunk at. Before before the tournaments even started, I was I was drunk. Sounds like Dimmy before he stopped drinking. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Oh, sent off for a stun, Jim Fowl. This is a sneaky git, Jim Fowl, by the way. This is <laughs> sent off for a stun. Is a, is a, like it didn't work that way, right? Sneaky git would have saved him, but seeing as now, if you once you get sneaky git, you can't get sent off for no armor break, can you? But the one Glorious. in twelve sent no, off for a stun is now is the new Jim Fowl. Until I'm victorious, <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. Jim Hallow. Hello, Christopher B. Thanks for staying fantastic for ten glorious months. Oh yeah. I feel like it's more apt for it to be into a one on the argue the core as well. Oh yeah, of course. Of course. He's gonna hit the roger as well, flip me. Does he have enough guard? Oh, he don't needs one. No, he didn't power him. Oh, he, oh, did, he, he just he's not pushing him into the hit. No, because he, he's only got one more guard, hasn't he? So it would just be one. Oh. If he powered him, I guess he would have he would have taken it and then piled in for a 2D. It's looking real bad for the underworld now, right? 1-0. Best they can do is get overtime with, a, a, you know, even less players. <laughs> so it's, it is looking very grim for the underworld. Yeah. I feel like you you make it to overtime and then you you probably just have to two-turn, right? Because at that point you don't have any players left. Oh, if you win the toss, yeah, 100%. Yeah, one, one or two-turn. <laughs> 
You hope for a Galentio, so like you'll be about twenty five percent if you get to overtime, right? He's, um... Yeah. Although going for the one turn is a lot better when you have a Juggernaut Rat Ogre and a two heads. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> sidestep. Side step. Side step. Yeah. Yeah. Well you could stack two heads sidestep, couldn't you? You could, also. yeah, yeah. My initial my initial pass at the roster had just sidestep. And then everyone I spoke to was like stack it with two heads. I was like, Yeah, okay. That makes sense. But you know, I, I think sidestep is the best one for two for one turning. Yeah. Um but yeah, so sidestep is happy better for one turning. It, it's also nice for just because you can just do a titchy sideline gauge sort of right. Yeah. And and don't care about or just strike your sideline gauge. You don't care about getting served against elves. Yeah, it's pretty good. Cheeky removal, thanks to the claws. No, no, mighty blow would have uh, yeah, also yeah. been. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> mighty blow would have also <laughs> been a kill. So. Yeah, and apple is it, which is expected. Yeah. Yeah. Easy apple there. And now this line protects him from a mighty blow of vengeance, doesn't it? So that's good. Well, unless he just frenzy traps himself, which is stupid. <laughs> so surely he won't just frenzy trap himself. Oh, Space Cadet told me it's not a frenzy trap, it's a frenzy opportunity. Space Cadet has said a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> would I stroll a pal, therefore it's better. <laughs> Yep. It's interesting to see what he does about the roger here, because I think he uh, <laughs> looks like he's probably staying where he is, because you can chain. Oh no, you don't want to chain. Yeah, you could just go for the dauntless hit on the roger. Maybe is that worth it? Maybe he just wants to stay where he is, so he doesn't eat his own players at this point, doesn't he? Yeah. I like the Dauntless hit. Um, just take a free armor, armor, armor roll and uh, kind of cruise himself. I quite like just blitzing the Snotling and staying in front of him at this point. Staying in front is probably better. Yeah. Plus, removing the Snotling takes him down to nine. And it's easy to remove, so... Yeah, six six dice with Mighty Blow is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, against Stunty, AB 5 plus, 6 plus. <laughs> it doesn't matter, Immortal Snots. Yeah. Snot today. G'day, Cocky. But it, um, yeah, stuns him, which is uh, at least, so... Yeah, it's alright, isn't it? And now he's got a big wall of dwarf in front of him. Meat wall. Mm, yeah, love I a good meat wall. Need more dwarves to get out of a um, out of a miner. Well, that sounds weird. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> it's literally so bad. They've got to change the name. Honestly, like I don't know what what name they can think of, but Krista needs to think of a name, or somebody else needs to think of a name and tell him to change it to that because we just can't keep calling it that. And we just we just can't. Spencer says to enter all the miners next year. Wayo. No, not Wayo. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, don't say it, please. <laughs> need, they need to be changed. Gets away with that, doesn't he? It's a block, so his block is used instead of Juggernaut, so good. And then I uh, didn't, didn't kill his own players. That was nice. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Hi, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello Rolex, thanks for staying fantastic for 34 glorious months. That's about a tenth as many teams as you've got. <laughs> or is it more? Is it more? Is it more? It's got to be more than 340. Isn't it like 600 teams or something? Yeah, flip me. But thank you very much for staying fantastic. Oh yeah. 456. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty impressive. That's a lot of nuts. 
Is he gonna is he gonna dodge with a goblin now and get forward and like sideline cage just to get a touchdown at all? I think that's Alex, how desperate we are. Alex, have you ever just taken six teams to a tournament and played with a different one each round? <laughs> 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 it's like, here is here is Camry team one. Here is Camry team two. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought he might do this. Just yeah. bang it in and then you know you Hope might for the best. This might actually honestly be better because at least now, you, like you know, something could happen and you could turn the dwarves over, right? Like a blitz or a pitch invasion or you know something to destabilize the drive. Because if you get to overtime, you've got to win the toss and then you've got to like one or two turn anyway. So like, and obviously you're not going to stall it out because you're getting destroyed. <laughs> And you don't have I think as many the, um, turns as possible here is as good as it's going to get for the Underworld. Yeah. Uh, you, you, well, the thing is, you don't have the thrower for the two turn in overtime, right? No. But you don't need a thrower, do you? Yeah, it makes it a lot more difficult. Yeah. It makes it it makes it makes a bit more difficult. I wouldn't say a lot. Like, I don't think you need one, right? I don't think you need one. But, um... It's obviously you'd rather have one. <laughs> But it's not like, I don't know, it's not like something crazy. Like, you know, not having an elf for your Chaos Renegades or something. Okay, so do you just, surely you have to put some pressure on here, right? Is if you just let them, you can't just let them stall. So you have to run as many dwarves backwards as possible. Right? Um. Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, you could try for the hit on the gutter, right? You could, like, that's an option because then you can actually stop the score. But then the problem is, like, you've got to make sure they can't stall if you fail it. <laughs> um. Can he one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? So he could like he could three four two to two D with block three four two two. Uh, yeah. He's not gonna. Oh, he's not gonna. But it's it's something that you could do. I I think it's something people don't do enough. Basically. Okay, but it's really well. hard to do. GFI with him, and then one two three four five another. So two GFIs, and he's got like a screen, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Isn't GFI? We just type the carrier. GFI yeah, it's a carrier. double GFI now. Then it's a 3 through 2 to score. Oof. Oh, hello. Could be a 2 2 2 with, uh, with two heads, just quietly. <laughs> <laughs> just quietly. What it could be is a 2 and then run around. Oh, he, he take first. Can, can he blitz? Uh, no, not really. Okay. So he could he could two 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 right? You could blitz this guy and power him, and then if he powers him, go two 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 two. Make an irrelevant block first. <laughs> Try and claw the armor eight guy. Yeah. <laughs> Makes a little difference. Doesn't even make break team, maybe. Make his team substantially better by removing the uh, the uh, other trolls there. Honestly, I think the goblin right stand up the snotling. This goblin blitzes him right, and then if you power him, then you've got a two. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like two, 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 two. Oh, he's gone backwards. Oh man. Mm, I don't like that. Oh, yeah, man. I definitely don't like that. I quite like this. Think? Yeah. Mm, it's better than. Yeah, I guess it's better than just losing the game on a on a nine twice. But so is this whatever? 
Twitter over it is like, is this eighty percent likely to score? I mean, maybe he's he's got everything free, right? This is he's in a pretty good spot. Everything's not based. Like, obviously, it can be based, but like, it's not based right now, right? He's not giving any hits, especially if he pals. I will just be right back. Yeah, I can see. I can see the pros in it. Definitely, it makes. Hmm. It makes playing for OT a little easier, but. Well, it takes away your option to win in in normal time, right? But yeah, that was unlikely anyways. As daughters underworld, you yeah, you aren't gonna get a reliable sack. You need some like, need like two or three failed pickups maybe for it to be even a consideration. Maybe just two. But then it's like if you commit as well. That's like what say. There's always the chance for deep kicks and blitzes and that sort of thing but yeah you're gambling on variants because like if you give him four turns and he gets a touch back then you're just like you're kind of just like well you lose the game now yeah congrats whereas this if you play so you're playing for overtime then you've got the 25 percent to win if you win the toss and then go to kicks that is assuming you don't get banged out in overtime well if you You'd have to get quite quite banged out to not be able to two turn with a gush runner. But yeah, definitely. And then uh Right. Yeah, I was looking through my stats the other day and I think I've never won kicks. <laughs> That's I'm not a good sure start. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm 0 and six on kicks. Mm. Oh, Have you considered just rolling higher than your opponent? I have. I think only one of those I was down on rerolls as well. Oh, do you know what? I, I might have the same stat. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it, the only shootouts that I remember were the one to Galentio that I lost and the one to uh, Veli that I lost. So, yep, they are the only two that spring to mind because, like, you know, you just don't get in that many, do you? You don't get in that many uh, things. They're You've got to be, so like, in bad. a cup or whatever, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I know I've lost all of the ones. I, I think I've done two on Blood Bowl 2, and I know I lost both of those. Mm. And I did one recently that I lost in the playoff finals that I'm still... I'm definitely over. Mm. Uh, yeah, you're definitely over that, aren't you? Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I didn't hate running back there, honestly, because, like, it does... Like, it lets you get your movement. I know you've, you're out of, like, players, so you haven't got really like got that much of a movement advantage when you don't have the players to like take advantage of the movement but you know like at least it like it kind of gives him a bit of movement to to react a bit better like they had hard committed back hadn't they so i didn't mind trying to give himself some breathing space up the field but uh it's still really really shit spot for him isn't it yeah so yeah maybe he should have just tried to bang it in maybe he should have because, like, when he calls for another push, it will be reacted on just the same. So, like, what's he going to do? Could blitz with a roger and hope he powers on the second hit <laughs> and then run forward. Well, that's, that's not terrible, but he's gone for this instead. Yeah, it just block people. Looks like, yeah, looks like it's going to be a three plus, 3 plus dodge somewhere. We've got a few of them, looks like. No, no, just punch, just punch. Just punch. Just punch. Oh yeah, you got. Yeah, because that that freed the then. goblin. Yeah, that freed the, that yeah. punch freed the goblin. So. Yeah. I'm surprised that this goblin moved first, right? Because he could have just started with a block, and then he could have goblin. Oh hello. Here, and then he could have goblin blitzed. Oh my god, a glorious removal. Didn't even need claw. I knew it. That wasn't the, that wasn't the claw. One. Claw is an overrated <laughs> skill. But I didn't. I wasn't the claw. The claw hit has yet to come. Yeah. Tried to stay Claw the armor eight, glorious. Oh. I guess he, he could pow here, and then this snotling could dodge, and then he could goblin blitz that guy. Yeah, but I, it's really weird that this goblin's here instead of just doing the roger hit first, then moving the goblin. That's kind of weird. I don't get that. Oh, well, he's blocked his oh. path. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. Claw. Oh, Claude did something. No, 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 wait, no, it didn't. No, no, it didn't. 
<laughs> oh, mighty blow would have done the same. <laughs> <laughs> or, nothing, or nothing would have done the same. Uh, oh, yeah, he's armor 8. Yeah, he's armor 8. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> he's not getting the blitz at all this turn, is he? I guess. Oh, the wrestle dodge blitzers? Okay, the, the wrestle dodge blitzers. I guess that was always his plan. Yeah, and then he got a bit of a screen. It's a bit of a screen is enough against dwarves. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And a big That's movement, you know, like a big movement over the other way. Like that's the thing, isn't it? Like you know, he can, he can, outmaneuver the dwarves a little bit. He's reduced their numbers. Like this is this is looking pretty good so far. The the runaway. Yeah. Interesting to see how it turns out. Yeah. Super interesting. Here we go. We get the dodge wrestle blitz. Four. Four. Diced. Okay. Claw would have broke AV. Should <laughs> <laughs> have reversed the order for all those two hits. Yeah. Yeah, so I wonder, do you mighty blow the snotling? I Probably right. think so, yeah. I think move two players over this side and yeah. then then blitz him and then you can think what to do about the last one. Yeah. If you don't Probably come in. It's tricky to say. Probably just move the two guards over. Yeah, Although, it's actually, tricky. it's annoying because the third one gets tagged, right? You yes. probably tag the third one if you don't power on both. Yes. On either. So there's there's one. Although he hasn't moved them at all. That snotling is being an absolute legend. <laughs> Taking nine dice and he still hasn't been knocked over. <laughs> what a badass. I guess you go up, and then that gives you the option to uh, stick on them if he doesn't power you, which right. he does. That was a three, legend. Four. <laughs> Iron <laughs> snot. legend. So maybe maybe a guard in here, and then the guard and the runner over here, but then. Someone give that something oh. iron hard skin. <laughs> I wonder if it lets you in blood or three. Have they read the FAQ? I don't know. Although, because the, the specific wording is if you roll it on a random, you get to reroll. And if, but it, you can still pick useless skills. Right. Right. So, uh, yeah, even there's no reason to ever random in Double 3, of course. Yes. But, Not yet. Not until there's a way to play it other than ladder. Oh yeah, I guess then um, it would be funny if they'd forced it in leagues as well. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be fun. It's bad enough that they forced it on the ladder. It would be terrible if they forced it on leagues too. It'd be extremely amusing for someone who doesn't play Blood Bowl Three. Yes, like amusing. It would be amusing. Here we go. Big, big. He has left this a bit open, right? I quite liked putting a guard here. I guess if he didn't put it here, he would have blocked him and, and gone through there anyway. So it's. It's tough, isn't it? Like he's always going to have some chances. Well, Goblin can go there. Right? Yeah, glorious. And the um, <laughs> the runner gets tagged because he didn't break armor on the stop loop. So <laughs> not the runner, the troll slayer is tagged. So. Oh. Um, this was the problem the about, about not banging it in, wasn't it? Because now, yeah, yeah he's pretty much got to reroll that, and he might end up not scoring at all anyway. Oh, he's just pushed him to there. I don't like that. No, I don't know what his think, plan is. I think you keep tagged. Um, depends. It'll be I think, yeah, the gutter doesn't really have anywhere to go, does Yeah, it? the gutter goes here. But can it get there? One... Yeah, he's a gutter runner. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to look at it. Of course he can. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck's sake, gutters are so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can double dodge with him. The space, buddy. Oh my god. Gutters are insane. Um, I don't know Diamond Hallow, by the way. I have got no inside knowledge. Um, so, I mean, I I hope that, that, that eventually Gautier would, like, 
you know, explain it like he did say he was going to as soon as possible. So it'd be nice if he did ever do that. This is sick, by the way. If he gets both these dodges, he gets full cage, and then he gets to come around here and cut it off completely, doesn't he? So he gets really good if he makes these two three pluses. Um, yeah, it's pretty amazing. But he fails the first one. <laughs> yeah, -roll. Yeah. The double G if I hit the ball. I mean, maybe he should have rerolled that. One, two, three, four. Oh, look, yeah, I just completely missed that. Counting is hard. <laughs> one, mm. two, yeah. I mean, he's definitely going to do it, right? Like a million percent. You've got to yeah, do that. Yeah, you've got million to. million percent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't like this random block, but the other the other block, you have to block the wrestle. That's the one you have to do, so you yes. should do that first. Right? Yeah. Wait, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's probably fine to move the, um, move the, move the runner first. Yeah. Yeah, because you're not you're not recovering, are you? Not recovering. Not unless you're very lucky. Because like you could put the, you can put this guy like what here, and then if you powered him to there and it scattered to him and then scattered out, you could have geified with your runner to get it. So there was a chance. Gets, yeah. the, gets the pow. Well, both times. Thank God he has block. Oh no, wait. <laughs> wait, it's hovering. <laughs> it's hovering. I've got a hovering ball. <laughs> what a well functioning game. It's nice, isn't it? That's pretty cool. So, what, 2 plus and then a 3 plus to do them, and then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, double GFI. It's a lot yeah. of dice, though, isn't it? He could be out of rerolls doing this. Whereas, okay, the other one was a 3 3 2, but if he'd done it, he'd have just, oh, it's a pause. Right. How exciting. He's pausing to have a look at Samba. Just <laughs> <laughs> DJ tilt your opponent pause. <laughs> Mr. Jork. I had, uh, I had an opponent on Fumbles the other day say, do you mind if we take a quick break? Um, I'll be back in 15 minutes. And then he comes back 20 minutes later and I'm like, Okay, why, why did it take you a bit longer than you said it would? And he was like, oh, I'm a doctor. I'm, I, a patient came in while I was playing. <laughs> <laughs> <That's wild. laughs> he's, got, he's got to do the club, it's right. He wouldn't have made that snotling dodge at first, so he's, he's got to be doing the club. It makes the dodge, gets the pow. Claw. No claw. Now, will he try to stall this, right? Because he's got a double goblin dodge here. Uh, like through no tackle, right? Uh, how much movement does the claw blitz have left? Loads. Oh yeah, yeah. So he could go all the way out there. He can go there, and then he can just t double goblin dodge. So he might, he might. Oh, and he's got a pretty decent screen there. Uh, one, two, yeah. three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's got to go here to not just get instantly hit. So he goes there, so he gets instantly hit by the runner this time. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I he's say he just, just goes for nah, it. Nah, he's just going for the score. Uh, dwarf two turn is not, not working, is it? No, but unlikely. Unlikely to get a dwarf two turn here. Yeah. Notoriously bad. Yeah. Two turning. <laughs> Mine was so bad. I I failed like every roll I made when I was trying to. I got a few two turns in this tournament, and like every time I was just like first roll, first roll, GFI one, second GFI one, and <laughs> end of two turn attempt. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Dr. Hellboy with a spider patient, maybe. Could have been Muddy D as well, couldn't it? Well, he isn't even Dr. Hellboy on, on Tumble. Outrageous. Or just, just a plain old, plain old doctor. Plain old Hellboy. Just plain your regular old street rat Hellboy. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call him a street rat. <laughs> Have, have you not met him? <laughs> I've played him. He's the most posh Blood Bowl player in existence, and I'm here for it. He is an absolute street rat. <laughs> a posh street rat, but a street rat nonetheless. <laughs> He's like a street rat with a monocle. <laughs> the funniest thing is, when I played him at the UKTC in 2022... 
he rolled a double skull first action and spent 15 minutes trying to think whether or not he should re-roll. Didn't re-roll, got removed, then I do a 3-3-2, three, three, pick it up, and then he takes 14 dice to try and knock me down and doesn't get me. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> you diced him. I diced the pants off him. It's really good dicing people, isn't it? It's so much fun. It's so good. <laughs> So who's going to try here, but he's probably not going to put any re-rolls right. The good thing is he can't get counter-scored on. Oh, he can get counter-scored on. Yeah. yeah and it, it is... So it is possibly one of the perfect scenarios for Underworld now. Deep kick plus a blitz. As long as it's not a touchback, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, well, three and eight just... Well, because the thing is, if you commit to this, and then it is the three and eight touchback, you just give it to that blitzer on the line... And you're well. I wonder if you even you can blitz that guy on the line. Guy, you can just cage your gutter here. Like you can just literally just cage <laughs> your gutter. That's the only thing you have to do. Just cage the gutter like there. I don't think it is the blitz on the guard piece. I think the rat ogre does blitz the blitzer. Yeah, and then yeah. you can just blitz him. Yeah. Well, the thing is that you can just give it to the troll slayer, right? Because the um, well, you can base the him. The base. Base all the movement five things. Base things, screen the gutter, and, and you know, five times out of eight, you just get the yeah. win, don't you? Well, you don't get the win, but three times out of eight, you, you give them a good chance to win. But it's interesting. Just base the men's. Yeah, base base all men's, let's go. Uh, six, Igalius. Yeah, oh, Blitz is the troll slayer. Diced. Interesting. Yeah, not, not what I would have done. Might as well get all in, right? Like, he's not going to get a better opportunity than this. No. Oh, well, he can't blitz the blitzer with the roger because it would go into a frenzy trap, right? Oh, right. He's yeah. got guard and a thing there, so he could have he could have roger blitzed the troll slayer. Yeah, I like, I prefer that. I think. Although, is is there still the bug where if you knock one of your own players down with the roger during a blitz, there's a turnover? But, but I don't know. But then, plus you'd have to. Plus, then you'd have to. I think they. I think they might have changed it. Plus, you'd have to well, move is, is somebody he on him first. He's Surely got he's to. Gone. No. That is bonkers. No. Playing so conservatively, I hate it. It's right in the corner. Oh my god. Literally the perfect scatter. Oh my god. Pain. The guy on that side too. It's literally the best kick possible. And he got the six bad blitz. Yeah. And he didn't go for it. Yeah, man, I really like just moving the, the you know, the gutter to here and the uh, snotling to there. Yeah, 100%. One million percent. <laughs> yeah, it was full six, the Gralius. Yeah, so, yeah. And the gutter there doesn't even do that much. I mean, like, it's good to have it there to strip. I had potato, but like, even then, it's still not that good. No, it's all right. Like, it, it is pretty good because obviously, if he gets a touch back and he gives it to anybody, he can't strip them, right? So, like, but this is playing like this has to be higher than a twenty-five percent chance of of winning, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I would. I mean, I would have one hundred percent got it. But I can see why people think that. Like, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, all these times when there's like a kind of optimal move. It's always easy to understand why people are a bit too chicken shit to go for it. <laughs> you know? Like it's like 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 people did it in the fucking NFL, right? For years and years, decades in the NFL, people were just like too scared to go for two pointers and stuff and go for it on fourth down and they just never did it. And then now, now that the, the computer tells them that it's the correct thing to do and they'd get sacked if they didn't do it. <laughs> they might not even have the ability to not do it, right? Probably it's probably in their contracts that they're just told that they have to go when the when the analytics tell them they've got to go for it, they've got to go for it. And now it's not even a question, right? But they would have got sacked for it in the olden days because it's like it wouldn't have looked right, do you know what I mean? So that clan rat is still in range to score. He is, yeah, yeah. Yep, didn't get the power. He's in range. Four plus three plus. And then like a, a three plus to hit him. And he might power him. 
and then he can <laughs> pick it up unless the unless the, he does the GFI pick up this turn and then another GFI to not get served. I think he has to do the double GFI pick up. Yeah, but he doesn't want to use reroll, so it's fucking tough, isn't it? Oh, this guy yeah. can maybe come over. One, two, three, four, five. No, it'd have to be a GFI. He's going for the go for it pickups. Yep. Yeah. Is he going to stay in the corner? He has to GFI back out. He well, just has to. The thing is, I well, don't think get... he does. He actually. has to. He has well, if to. Get, if you get surfed, there's no chance of him scoring, right? But he can just yeah, go one, exactly. two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. Oh no, he can't. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like literally, it has to. I think you surf him. I think you surf him. Yeah, yeah you definitely surf yeah. him. But there's no chance of you scoring. Well, there is. Well, it can go. Oh no, it can't because it can't even go two squares out anymore. Yeah, well, I like, can. Like they've got a, they've got a good pass it to you on a four plus. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. Throws back in here. They've got a dodges through, picks it up, lobs it to you. Jobs yeah, are coming. I suppose. That's probably the most likely thing to happen. But probably, so you probably you just hit this guy in three dice. <laughs> Let's well, well, be honest. Does he have a second runner? Does he? No, only the one. All oh, right. Yeah. I, I probably. Oh, it's hard to go for without any rerolls. Yeah. No, you three. You three dice this guy. Yeah. There's no. There's no choice. Well, we thought there was no choice uh, last turn. <laughs> <laughs> there's no choice this turn. This this turn is just three dice the blitzer. Like, Like this, it's just a hundred percent, hundred percent surfing. Not surfing, blitz this guy. Sorry. The thing is with a surf, like you, you would need, um, you know, you would need to roll a lot of dice, and then you would need to get everything else work. But no, nope, push is okay. Gets the power. But you know, if he'd had the gutter there as well, right? If he'd had the gutter there as well, then um, then the blitz, one D blitz surf, and then got to do something would have been on, wouldn't it? But yep. But he might have still gone for this anyway. Like it, this was safer, and like it is easier to do the safe thing, isn't it? Like it's it's guaranteed to go to OT. Then it's a fifty-fifty for you to win the toss. I still think and you're 25% to win as Underworld. I think you're pretty close to 25% to win. I think you've got yeah. to win the toss. And if you lose the toss, you pretty much just lose. And if you win the toss, you've got to win the toss again. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, he, he won this half, didn't he? He won this half with, with about the same amount of players. If he gets the KOs back, so... Maybe he's 60% to win. Maybe he's not 60. Maybe he's like 40% to win in overtime or... 33, it's, I guess it's not terrible, right? But he, he's, he's at least 50-50, like he has to win the toss. I think if the Dwarves win the toss, it's over. Then he just loses. Yeah, yeah, I think he just, he loses a straight 50. <laughs> and then if he wins the toss, he's, you know, he can, he's got a chance to make it to, to a coin flip. But, it, but he's also got a chance to just win it outright as well, hasn't he? Yeah. So maybe he's like something like 20 to win it outright and then... 15 with a coin flip, so 35-ish to win, maybe. Which isn't great, but... Could be more. Need to dial it and say he's 41.379% to win. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta smash this snotling. See if it's a successful smashing. think the sidestep matters, does it? No. Probably just not paying it attention. Literally doesn't. Probably just not paying attention. There's Probably like... screaming something in French. <laughs> there's like no there's no like audio cues ever is there, so like you just get no. stuck. Like doing the kickoff. I've had like the kickoff run down <laughs> you know, a minute and a half and then I'm like, oh right, it's my kick. <laughs> Here we go. It's not like smashed. I mean, half smashed. He could get all three back. That is true. He could. He could have eleven players for the for the overtime. 
as a chance. Oh wow, there's a chance there's the dwarves no having ten. Assist foul. There's a chance the dwarves having ten. That was a rowdy as fuck foul. He does get all three KOs back as well. Oh no, he apo, didn't he? He apo, that was just a reserve. That was just a reserve. I was being stupid. He's got 12 men. Yeah, yeah, disregard. He apo, he apo the cars, didn't he? Or the KO. He, he apo, he apo something. I forgot that he had, he had apo. Big. Right, well there you go, the draws win. He, oh no, he got all his players back, so he's got 11. But still, the draws probably win. <laughs> All right, I saw receive the ball, and I assumed the underworld got it. I don't know why, but yeah, yeah. Don't say it's over. But, don't say it's over. But this is about as bad as it can get. Right. He's got full team of dwarves, two re rolls. Yep. 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 You could get the same kick in a blitz. <laughs> you could have the same yeah. thing that happened that just happened. <laughs> and then all of a sudden that would be amazing if it was like... A, well, it wouldn't be that amazing, right? He'd still probably just have to score and then go to kick still, so... Well, if it happened twice... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For him to win in, in, in overtime, that's basically what needs to happen. Yeah, it's it's he's low odds, to say the least. Yeah. Well, there's nobody quite as amusing to play. I mean, I, I I don't know, but like when I played against um, when I played against DNS on tabletop, um, it was it was nil nil half, and and I was receiving, and he was just like, well, I'm such low odds to take the ball off you. I'm just going to start Soros dodging six plus through screens <laughs> to get two dice on your ball, yeah. and it worked like three times. Yeah. <laughs> Classic Dio. Yeah, I think like people what? don't do that kind of stuff enough, but it is it is a hard thing to do, isn't it? That's the problem. Yeah, like it's easy to do watching, saying, "Oh, we should do this," but when you're in the game, like it's really tempting just to do the the safer, right. less effective thing. I, I very purposefully counted ten squares back from his skinks <laughs> when I picked up the ball, and he's just like, "Oh yeah, I got dice on the ball. I'm just gonna do a five plus six plus with my Saurus <laughs> through your screen." <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm gonna head off. I need to do some replay analysis with someone. Oh. What? Well, good night, Hargrim. Thanks for coming on. Glorious. Yeah, no worries. And uh, have fun, lads. Cheers. 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 <laughs> choosing, choosing Ketovix over us. Outrageous. Outrageous. Yeah, I think they're doing. Air, um, I still don't know how you pronounce it. Is it Aya? Error. 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 Um, cup cost. Mm. Yeah. I stopped paying attention after I left the league because I just, I just got annoyed after losing so many games. <laughs> <laughs> I just kept getting diced, I felt like, but well, it was probably not what was happening. I was just playing badly, but I'm going to call up the dice. Mm. It's all about it's all about blaming the dice, isn't it? <laughs> I think I did something terrible, like four wins, two draws, five losses, uh, and but three concession wins. Wow! <laughs> so three of my four wins were because my opponent didn't show up. Jesus! <laughs> and just, uh, the start of the spy, spiral down was a, a fireball that killed. Both of my level players. <laughs> Yikes! I was just like, yeah, I don't. <laughs> I'll play the rest of, the, of this cycle, but I don't want to play it all season. Mm. It's also just partly me not being used to. Oh, here's the chance. Oh, here is the chance. Just bubble through the slayer, and um, or even not. Yeah, let's. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Instant roger blitz, Roger. three plus pickup, yeah. and he's on offense. <laughs> wow! Well, <laughs> perfect. Fucking easy, easy game, easy line. This is why you put your screen one forward from the ball, mm. so it can't yep. bounce through your screen. 
Yep. Yeah, I don't know if he just hadn't moved that blitzer yet, or if he put him there or whatever, but yeah, if that blitzer is like, you know, there or there or whatever, then the ball's here and it's pretty fine. Like, it's not great. Oh, so he moved the snotling to get killed, which was a pretty good idea. <laughs> well, what was the um, armor roll? Fine. Oh, no, it, it wouldn't have killed Terrible the idea. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible <laughs> idea. Clown Rock would have been quite easily. <laughs> Clown Rock would have been totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible idea. Best big guy in the game, the Rat Ogre. Oh man, I hate him so much. I just literally hate him so much. Because you could have just blitzed with a wrestle, right? The wrestle just blitz one day blitzes is fine, you know? So you're just using the Roger because he's a Roger. Yeah, two snotlings. Honestly I hate him. I think he's terrible. I will I will die on that's a fine hill to die on in my opinion. Saying that the Roger sucks. Hmm. Yeah, because the um, the line right is also more likely to work, isn't it? Because because you can re-roll it. Yeah. Well, I get you can re-roll the Rat Ogre, obviously, but if if it's a one in nine, there, it's pretty bad. Yeah. What he could do is dodge this goblin first, and then he can cut through, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI. So that might be an idea, but like obviously it sucks that on a one in nine you just lose, but I think you've got to suck it up, but a cup, and just go for oh, the goblin oh. dodge. So six, it doesn't. seven, eight, nine. You could even jump over the goblin, can't you? <laughs> oh, yeah! Is that, is that better? Yeah, maybe that would have been better. In. Oh, he stakes it! No. Oh, disaster! Well, Not quite. I stun the stun is the disaster. Yeah, that was brutal. That was brutal. But I think maybe you should have just done the goblin thing just to make that. And like you'd probably still snake something, right? But I think that makes it a bit better. Yeah. I think you get the scatter here, right? Somehow. I quite like going for the scatter. Uh, well, it's quite bad if it goes to the right, isn't it? It is, but it's quite right. It's quite bad if it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> hey, is there a, is there anything behind the rat ogre? Yeah, the goblin, isn't it? No. No. Is there a prone. goblin? Everything's prone. Yeah. All right. Okay. I think you scatter and see what happens. Oh, no, he can't it doesn't. now because he did. He can't because he didn't pal. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I guess he's just going to do the four plus. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he has to. I think he can two D the roller first. I think. I think you want to try the four plus here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, but if you two D the roller and you don't pal, you have to do a, a geofy with the. Um, well, is 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 good as is good as prone, right? So you could you could two D the roger, and then if it doesn't work, then uh, if you don't power, then you don't go for the pickup. Yeah, yeah, that's another option. You can just stand on it then, can't you? Push them to here, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So you've got two tackle zones on. Yeah, I like that. Nope, he goes for the four plus. Gets it. Four. Four. He surely has to hit the roger. Uh, yeah. Although where it is, it just can't get dude ice and everything, which is quite nice. Yeah, true. But, yeah, but yeah, you would. You do. You do have to. Has to. Yeah, it looks like it. Yep. So now I'll push bottom left and follow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just not worth. Like, if there was an amazing square to put the the Slayer, then like maybe put the Slayer there and take one D. But I think there's nowhere where the Slayer goal that's unbelievable. So just get the two D. Imagine if that's yeah, if that Storm Vermin was guard now, he'd get a three plus for a two D. 
Yep. <laughs> just just quietly. <laughs> yeah. Yep. This is I mean he can wandy with wrestle, couldn't he? Which I guess he I can snotling, he can snotling and then one and then just hit with a with the uh with the clan rat uh, blitzer, right? The blitzer can just hit now. Yep. Dodge for an assist, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dodge for the assist, you... whack him. Yeah, no no gutter for recovery is pretty bad though, isn't it? So yeah. You still have to do it of course, but Yeah. You could even GFI here. He could have GFI'd with that guy so that if this is a push he gets another two D in, but I guess you know he doesn't want to risk GFI's with only one reroll. Gets the power. <laughs> God <laughs> Well Frenzy trap yourself. <laughs> Hope you just roll a smooth pal. Doesn't roll a smooth pal, so he's into a 1D. He's got block though. Gets the 1D pal and another scatter. Oh. No, he doesn't scatter it. Oh, he does scatter it. What? Oh. He did. It, ju it just looked there, didn't it? The arrow showed up there. That was so yeah. weird. Hmm. I guess you could dodge the line rat and then block 1D block with the other line rat. Which is rubbish. Oh, I guess you could dodge with the goblin instead if you wanted, right? This goblin could... Oh, the goblin could just stand. Goblin stands, this guy dodges, and if he passes, then you've got a 1D. I mean, you might as well. All about rolling crazy dice every uh, turn. Yeah. He's 4 plus. Yeah, he does the 4 plus. Oh, I don't up. like this because he threw tackle. Oof. I don't like that, but I guess he got to scatter it if he failed, didn't he? Whatever happened, so... Yeah, it's, uh, he's on the roger, so not a bad scat. Yeah, not terrible. Now the gutter has six squares of movement around him in the danger zone. <laughs> I think we're going to see a lot of scattering, though, because the uh, Slayer can block the goblin and stuff. Yeah, you can also just block away the um, roger, right? Yeah, he can block everything well, away just, easily, but I think, gonna I think he's going to scatter. I think he's going to scatter for the chance of a catch. I blocks away the roger. Uh, not what I would have done. Like, it's it's fine, right? And it might be correct. It might be the absolute best play. Who can say? But I, I, I think scattering it to just try and get one of my players to catch it is pretty good. Seeing as he's got, like, defenseless players around and you don't want to leave the ball on the ground versus rats. Yeah. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't blitzed yet either, so he can just blitz blitz the claw off the. Um... Oh, that's the runner. That's the runner. That's, that's why runner, I was yeah. him. Yeah. It's easy to sell apart the runner because he's the only person with a block icon. <laughs> <laughs> um, Another removal. This has been an amazing turn. Three D the snot. Oh god. I oh, know he's just gonna block the um claw. He's blocked the claw. Yeah. And then he would have blitzed then... him if it wasn't a power. Honestly, foul the gut runner with the rookie slayer. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad, is it? Like you do the pickup. But do you do the pickup first? <laughs> <laughs> it's in three tackle zones, there's no good way to scatter it. Is there no there's yeah, yeah no good way to scatter it. Oh he doesn't go for it. Boo. <laughs> uh, I guess he could just put it in between two guards. That's what he has to do, I think. Yeah. Because otherwise he just gets hit by the wrestle, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, he's fouling with the gut. That's wrong. <laughs> Foul with the rookie slayer, surely. Yeah, surely. Well, it doesn't matter if you KO anyway. GG. Yeah. Game over. But yeah, that's the, why the Slayer foul seems a yeah the Slayer foul seems a million times better. But never mind. Yeah, he got the rival, so GG. Thanks for playing. And the question is, does Nikodaz know the um, the overtime rules yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does he know that's not or, golden goal? Or Hiru, right? Hiru, Hiru is the one. 
but you oh, need sorry, to ask yeah. yeah because he might just go I think he does oh double skulls <laughs> So he might have the one turn chance, right? He might have the one turn chance if if yeah, all these so. KOs come back and he doesn't lose anyone else. That's two, three, uh, four, five players, six, seven, eight, nine, nine players. Yeah, you can't even gang foul the uh, Roger because we well, can, but you probably shouldn't because the defense gets so much worse with with ten players. <laughs> yeah. No, he just got it. I mean, he can he can mighty blow and. 3D and stuff, can't he? So. Yeah, he's gonna mighty blow 3D into 3D probably on this uh, the rattle. Uh, oh, doesn't get him. Diced. Yeah. Uh, you probably take probably blitz him then. Can't reach him with my. Oh blow. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got about doors. <laughs> so you blo you block the wrestler, and if you don't pound, then you blitz the wrestler, and then yeah. if you yeah, no, I don't I don't like this because then you could have blitzed the you could have three dice blitzed the uh, snotling as well. Yeah. If you powered him the first time. Oh, she breaks the armor of the snotling. <laughs> yep, it's looking over, but it's not over yet. Don't say it's over. Don't say it's over, and then probably move the. Blocker two squares up. I don't know why he didn't do that. Yeah. Well, maybe he wants them to stand players up to try and fight him. And uh, probably he doesn't want the. He wants the rat ogre to blitz and go downward. I guess that would be that'd be all. Mm. But I would want to go downwards with a rover anyway. I'd want to run away after my blitz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. If it, yeah, the rover probably should just go further away. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, right, yeah, so moving the blocker up to up to was good. Mm. Yeah, because now, because if he, if he does blitz and then and then he doesn't pound the first hit, he's in he's in range of the mighty blow, um, mighty blow. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have dodged with the uh, goblin now. Oh, sorry, you know, moved with the goblin, I just left him lying down. <laughs> he's not going to foul a goblin. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so now you GFI blitz the snotling with just a blocker, right? Yeah. Is that four squares? Yeah. Yep, GFI, but obviously Cage here. Got plenty yeah. of time, hasn't he? Plenty of time. But don't say it's over. There is a chance of a one turn, maybe. A very small chance. Or like a timeout, right? I know a guy who lost a game because of a timeout. <laughs> it does happen. Oh, that's incorrect. Not that it matters. Incorrect. KO, now it's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Results oriented uh, thinking. It's definitely the best thing for Blood Bowl, right? It's the only way. It's the only way you can judge anything. Yep. Yep. Gordas spending far too much time here. <laughs> he just needs to run away with his four players. Hope that he gets. Should have tried with a Slayer, right? Slayer might as well have tried to have moved. Oh, I guess not, because he could get based. So yeah. yeah, it does look like he does know the rules. Yeah. So that's a shame for Nicodaz. <laughs> yeah. And he has got the send off, so he can't foul anymore. Yes, looks like he is fouling though. I might just be like making it so that he can't uphill blitz. Because fouling is really stupid if he goes down to ten players <laughs> and like you know makes the tiny chance of a one turn a tiny bit better. Like it's really tiny, right? One reroll, no players. Well, four. Between four and nine players. There's a very, very low chance one turn. Uh, 
And did the gutter come back? No. Uh, no. <laughs> <Gigi. laughs> he got four out of five back as well. He rolled well. <laughs> but on the wrong players. Yeah. Troll would score the one turn here, of course, with a throw That's teammate. Good. It's true, though, isn't it? You know, like you know, everyone everyone laughed at Elliot when he said that, but it's true. Like it does give you an extra chance. <laughs> Here he is, glory. Like it's true, though. Like it's true. It, it it does give you that. Like you know, of course, the gutter runner is is the way to do it. Um, but you know, if if you can't, then the troll gives you away, and and the rogue doesn't at all. Yeah, man, he got he got so lucky well, making four out of five, but yeah. it doesn't matter if you don't get the if you don't get the cutter. I wonder if he's going to just try and get the pushes, even though there's been no defence, so the pushes don't matter. I guess right, you've got to set up the right, right. You have to think timeout's a possibility. Set up in case of a timeout. Oh, it just doesn't. Like, there's still like the movement seven one turn, which oh you can't do it with a few you're, players. You're not doing you're not doing the move seven one. Yeah, okay. Just end turn, please, Nick does. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, make no riot, sit. riot, or a timeout. There could be a timeout. Yeah. Timeout is the thing. Yeah. I suppose. I know a guy who lost a game because of a timeout once. <laughs> nope. Cheering fans. Yeah, now end turn. Don't take the first block. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now just end, end the fucking turn. He does. Thank Good you. guy, Nico does. Champ. Champ, 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 yep. So Nico does goes out with two losses. Uh, Hiru avoids going out with one loss. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was sure I was going to win my first two and then go out on one loss. Seeing as like, that's got to feel the worst, right? The people that happens to. But it doesn't happen to Hiru. Hiru gets three wins out of three with dwarves. Um, look a dog, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> who knows? No, no, no. I'm, I'm joking. You know, like I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to poke fun at myself who didn't qualify with dwarves. Obviously, uh, Hiru's done great there, and congrats to him. Commiserations, Nico Daz. Thank you very much, Dementor, for joining me in the booth. Glorious. Yep. And yep. <laughs> and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>